Ha ha, Lisa's messy kitchen. I just decided to uh, make a tagine for dinner tonight. I have no work today and no work tomorrow, unfortunately, except for stuff I have to do at home. So here I am cooking. This is called a tagine, and these are a staple cooking item in Morocco. And they're nice because you can put them in the oven, you can use them on the top of the stove, and if you have one of those camping cookers with the flame underneath, they work just fine for that also. And I got this one a long, long time ago, and it's held up beautifully. There's uh, a little hole in there. This one's old. Oof. Uh, I paid about 8 euros for this, so maybe about 12, 15 years ago. But it's still holding up. And you can get really fancy, expensive ones, too. And they come in all shapes and sizes. But this is the basic type. See, there's a little hole there, and uh, usually you could you could also make a sort of a clam bake fire pit for this sort of thing and cook them in the ground. And uh, I don't recommend the really expensive ones because you know if you're using them a lot and they break, you'll feel bad. But you know this one is just ordinary price, and I've had it for years and it's still hanging in there. Um, what I'm going to do is sort of a Moroccan dish for dinner tonight. And my spouse is French, and he really does not appreciate the mixing of a lot of stuff and sweet and savory, or sweet and sour, or whatever. You know, if there's, if there's too much mixing, a, a lot of French people don't like that. But we're going to have this tonight. And if you want to do couscous on the side or polenta or rice, it's cooked separately. The thing that's nice about these is you don't need very much liquid or fat, and um, they're extremely versatile. What I've going, got going on here in my mess is I've got some prunes, which do have the pits in them, and they're soaking in some rosé wine, and they should soak for about four hours. It takes some time. And what happens is the flavor goes from the prunes into the wine, and then after four hours, uh, I will simmer them in the wine for just a few minutes until they start to simmer. And then the wine is used as the sauce. So this wine is going to go into the tagine. Excuse me. Um, the prunes can be left to the side or added, it depends. For a lot of dishes, they're not added. Um, for the tagine, it might be nice to mix them up. These are dried apricots and these are some raisins. You find that uh, dried fruit is, is very common in a lot of tagine dishes. This is an onion. I have some fresh garlic. And this is some chard. I've put up some chard videos recently. This is in the sink because it's thawing out. These are whole stalks of it, and I probably will not use it all. I will probably try to chop it, and um, the tagine, uh, you have to worry about your presentation, because the way it, it cooks in here is the way it's going to be served. And um, in, in Morocco, they eat it with some flat bread frequently and it's set in the middle of the floor or a low table and uh, people dip in with the bread. Uh, but also in some countries uh, they like couscous and uh, that should always be cooked separately. And if you like rice, that should be cooked separately. It, it, as far as I know, it doesn't work in here. All right. Now the meat is going to be some beef, and I've decided not to marinate it. It's a good quality bavette, and I'm just going to chop it into little pieces. This will cook in the oven for probably an hour, and um, what I'm hoping is that uh, this small bit of rosé wine which will be simmered with the prunes in a bit and the dried apricots and the raisins, the onion and the garlic 
Oh, I'm steaming a potato. One of my potatoes was looking a little bit tired. It was starting to get some green spots on them. You know, the green spots are toxic. Don't eat them. Cut them away. I'm going to cut those away. I'm going to try to cube and cut everything up and make a nice presentation in this tagine. Um, it's supposed to be a delight for the eyes and the tongue. And it's an interesting combination of sweet and savory, which, as I've said before, a lot of the French don't like. But we're going to have it tonight for something different. And this is some chicken soup. Wow. It's store-bought and really inferior. <laughs> the, the homemade stuff is so much better. But this was tremendously convenient for lunch today. So that's the amazing tagine. I really recommend these for you if you're a student or you travel a lot and you camp and you have to come up with, uh, sometimes you have a stove top or a hot plate and sometimes you have an oven and sometimes you just have a campfire and sometimes you just have a, a cook stove. These tagine work for everything. I do export these, by the way. I can get you all shapes and sizes, and you can have a fancy one if you like. But really, these, these really basic ones of ceramic are, are just great, and you don't have to feel too bad if they break. I mean, like, if the top breaks, the bottom can still be used for something, right? Uh, and it's just, they're just terrific. I used to write a couple of cooking columns in, in print, and I did an article called The Amazing Tagine, and, um, of course, vegetarian is great in this, but any meat will work. Fish will work. Um, you, just, you just have to do the, the couscous or the bread separately, or the rice or whatever else you want with it. Um, but it's, this is not a couscous meal. You know, it's meant to be like the meat and the juices and the fruit and some vegetables and maybe you dip bread in, but this is different from couscous, which is more typical of uh, Algeria, for example. I'm not an expert. I've never been there, but I live in an Arab community, so that's how I get this stuff. And uh, also they sell really cute little ones, which are really, really cute, um, but kind of silly. And I've seen some big ones in more of a square shape, uh, which are very elaborately decorated and stuff. I guess those are for special occasions. Um, it's it's just, uh, you know, a way of cooking from another part of the world. All right, I hope you like this in my mes messy kitchen. I will try to do another I was for sale oh, maybe later if I can pull myself together, <laughs> you know. I've got the first seven installments up. I hope you've seen them. I got a nice comment from somebody about one of them again today. Uh, I'll try to do the eighth one as soon as possible, maybe today. There's a lot of construction work going on today <laughs> outside. I don't know what they're doing. All right, everybody, be well. Tajine.